everyone, it's Marianne. Welcome to my Reesless Life. In this video, I'll be sharing with you 10 fast trailing and climbing house plans. Thank you so much for joining me today and for new, this is my Reesless Life where I take you along my plan and sustainable lifestyle journey and share with you some of my tips and tricks along the way. When it comes to the growth pattern of house plants, my favorite are the trailing plants. And if you give them a trellis or a moss pole, you can train them to climb up. But either way, this type of house plants are the kind of plants that give your space that instant inner jungle vibe, which is why they're my favorite. In this video, I'll be sharing with you 10 trailing house plants that are part of my collection. And in my experience, these plants trail really, really fast. In most cases, you'll get at least a foot of growth within six months. And best of all, these are easy care tropical house plants. To start, let's go with the obvious pothos plants. If you've been watching me for a while, you know that I have a huge pothos plant collection. And I'm gonna share with you the three fastest growing varieties that I have. First one is the Syndapsis pictus argerius. Syndapsis are generally known to be slower growers, especially compared to the epipenum and the vining philodendrons, except for the satin pothos or the Syndapsis pictus argerius. This one grows really, really fast. This is the fastest growing Syndapsis that I have, and honestly, it rivals the golden pothos with how fast it grows. And this is also currently the easiest one to find, so you can get this anywhere and it will give you this long trails in no time. And when it comes to my Epipen Pothos, this is my current MVP, the Neon Pothos. And this is also a good alternative to the Jade or Golden Pothos. If you want something that looks a little bit different but has the same growth pattern, the same fast growth rate, and the same type of care. And this one, I started out with a couple of 4-inch plants and this is what it looks like right now and if i weren't pruning it so often like i do with the synapsis pictus argerius this will probably be trailing two or three times longer but i constantly prune my trailing plants to also keep them bushy at the same time but as you can see how huge this is and how long the trails are and this started out with a four inch pot but if you're looking for a variegated pothos, then I definitely recommend the Mandrilla pothos. This is my fastest growing variegated pothos, hands down. The other varieties don't even come a close second. Maybe the pearls and jade pothos, but that for me also took a little bit of a while before it started trailing really, really long. But this was definitely a very fast grower, maybe not as fast as the golden or jade pothos, but definitely the fastest among the variegated ones. And when it comes to the vining philodendrons, you can't really go wrong with any variety of the vining philodendron. They grow pretty much at the same rate, kind of like with this philodendron Brazil. With this one, I've propagated so many times with this one because this grows really, really fast, kind of like with the golden pothos. But if you're looking for something different and to break from all of the green, then you can go get a philodendron mycan. This is one of my favorite vining philodendrons right now, although mine needs watering. This one I got as a three leaf cutting almost exactly a year ago, but look at it now, it has grown so much and I've also propagated multiple times from this plant. And even though this is more uncommon than the philodendron Brazil, this grows just as fast and has the same type of care. So if you want to break from the forest of green and also have a leaf that has a very different texture, because this one has a very velvety leaf, then go with the philodendron mycan instead. And for the number five fast trailing house plant, let's switch it up a little bit. And here is the Serpa Yawoodii or the String of Hearts. This is a very popular trailing house plant. A lot of people would have this or would want this in their plant collection. And for good reason, because of this tiny heart-shaped leaf. If you can only find a pot that is not trailing yet, don't worry, once it gets going, it gets really going. This is about a couple months growth. It does go dormant for me during the winter season, but come growing season, it does grow again. And I prune this yearly, so that's why the growth is not as long. But if I don't prune this, like with my other plants, this would have been two to three times long already. This also has a variegated counterpart, but the variegated string of parts don't grow as fast as this one. Number six on the list is not necessarily a trailing house plant, but once it produces its pups or babies, it has tendrils or vines like this where the babies hang from. And if you don't remove those babies or pups, 
they form those trails and they cascade very beautifully this one is the bonnie spider plant and you can also get a regular spider plant which the leaves are not curly and this is beautiful if you just want to keep the babies hanging they will make such beautiful trailing plants as well and number seven on the list are vining monsteras the first one that I'm going to show you is the Monstera Stanleyana variegata. I got this a couple months ago in a plant swap. It was literally just this two or three leaves I think up front and now it has grown so much. It is currently in Leica and I currently just have it wrapped around on top and I'm thinking of giving it a moss full eventually because I do think vining Monsteras look better when they're trailing up. Kind of like with this one, the Monstera Adensonii wide form that I have. Once it started trailing, I gave it a moss bow. As you can see how huge the leaves grows as well when you give it a trellis or a moss bow. And the other form of Monstera Adesona I have is the narrow form. So this one reminds me a little bit of the Cebu Blue Pothos. The leaves are very narrow and elongated, kind of like with the Cebu Blue Pothos but with the fenestrations. I do have this hanging at my window and wrapped around the curtain rod so it's kind of climbing a little bit and it doesn't have a lot of those fenestrated leaves but if you do allow this to properly climb it would produce more of those fenestrated leaves but like i said this reminds me of the cebu blue pothos minus the fenestrations and number eight on the list are tradescanias again you can't go wrong with any variety all of them grow pretty much at the same rate except for the nanook that one is bred to be a little bit of a slower grower but you can get any tradescantia they grow pretty fast especially in smaller ones the fluminesis or the calisa repens this one is the tradescantia fluminesis quadricolor and this one would have trailed a lot longer if i don't keep cutting it and propagating it and putting it in here to make this one look a lot bushier but this one grows really really fast and if you let it be it would also start trailing down and with the tritiscantia however their leaves or vines tends to be a little bit more delicate so they drop off and fall off very easily so you just have to be careful and watchful for that one but if you want it to trail you can really get it to trail and this is another one that I have which is the tritiscantia gently and this one I also just recently got as a one or two leaf cutting but look at it now, it's also starting to trail. And that's the thing with Tritiscandia as well, they propagate very easily and very fast. So you don't need a huge pot to start with if you want a bushy and fast trailing Tritiscandia plant. So I have two more trailing or climbing house plants to share with you and I think I saved the best ones for last. And the next one you can see right behind me which is the Raphidophora tetrasperma. So this one is my Raphidophora tetrasperma. You can see how tall or how long it has climbed up already. But this one I neither have trailing down, which you could possibly can, but very few people have their Raphidophora tetrasperma trailing down. But mostly people have it climbing up. But as you can see, mine doesn't have a trellis or a moss bowl. But instead, I've been holding this plant up with a string. So that's that's a trick that I learned from a couple of Instagrammers or maybe YouTubers. I think I remember seeing Jolene does it. So basically, you tie the string at the top of the plant and you just hang it like that to keep it upright. I have mine hanging on a curtain rod and I just adjust it as the plant grows. And this one grows really, really fast. And if you've been watching me for a while, you know my Raphidophora tetrasperma suffered from root rot back in December but once it recovered from that root rot it has been growing beautifully and growing so fast so this is pretty much a six month growth after it recovered from a root rot and last and certainly not the least the syngonium albo but to be honest pretty much any syngonium but definitely the syngonium albo this one is such a fast grower and such easy care for a highly variegated plant and this one as you can see does need a mouse bowl this one is <laughs> not properly installed yet which i will later on but as you can see how much this has grown already and if i don't put a moss bowl in it it will trail down because it's getting a little bit top heavy already and i've seen some people do that but kind of like with the raffidophora tetrasperma for the most part people always have it on a moss bowl or on a trellis so this one is definitely going to be needing one soon or right now to be honest or again use a string to hold it up sometimes a trellis or a moss bowl is too distracting and takes away from the plant 
With this, the focus is on the plant and it looks a lot cleaner. And those are the 10 fast trailing and climbing houseplants in my plant collection. If you have any other fast trailing houseplants recommendation, please share them down in the comments below. And if you're interested in learning more about different types of pothos varieties, please do check out my book, The Ultimate Guide to Pothos Plants, which is now available in paperback version. There's also an ebook version as well. The link to purchase will be down in the description. But thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're new here, I hope you subscribe. I come up with house plants and sustainable lifestyle videos every week. And if you haven't yet, go check out these videos up here until my next one. But until then, I see you. I appreciate you. Take care of yourself and each other. And have a plentiful day. Bye.